Hi everyone, it's me, Italian Gamer Joe, your favorite Italian streamer. Welcome to a new night of streams. Today we are doing part four of uh, At Dead of Night. This is part four of At Dead of Night. If you miss part three, it's on Twitch. Uh, it's broken down into two parts because my stream crashed. So you can watch part three and part three part three point five um, here on Twitch. Um, I'm still editing the video for my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, when I try to upload it to Wondershare, Wondershare keeps crashing, and I don't know why. So I sent like ten crash reports to Wondershare. So I hope they do something about it. I might have to use iMovie instead, which is totally fine if I have to. But anyway, hope you're all having wonderful uh, days, evenings, afternoons, wherever you are, whenever you are, however you happen to be here tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing At Dead of Night. We'll see if we finish it tonight. If we do, then great. That means tomorrow I will be doing a community night. If, if we don't finish it tonight, then we will be playing the game tomorrow. Which is totally fine if we have to. We will we will see. The hydration drink of the night is some AHA sparkling water. Uh, the flavor is uh, orange grapefruit. Lately, I've been just really, really, really enjoying sparkling water. Um, it's calorie free. It's zero calories, zero sodium, zero sugar. And the only ingredients are uh, carbonated water and natural flavors. So, I mean, is it like amazing? No, it, but... It really has a nice taste. I'm actually not bad with it. It's pretty good. I, I gotta say, for sparkling water, it's actually really good. Um, I also like bubbly. I think Aha and bubbly are pretty good. I, I have to say, between my my favorites are definitely Aha and bubbly. Um, but anyway, why don't we get started and dive right in? Oh, before we dive right in, I actually forgot to do something. Um, I have to mention to my community that I'm live on Twin Discord. I always forget to do that. Alright, I just did now. It's just a copy-paste job, so that's good to go. And yeah, let's get started. So let me go ahead and um, jump in. Also, I'm going to pull up Twitch chat on my phone because on my computer it doesn't seem to update. So if I miss any of your chats, that's probably why. So I'm just pulling up Twitch chat on my phone really quick. There we go, much better. All right, so uh, let's scroll all the way up. There's so many games that I have my favorites list. My, my Steam backlog is like over a decade old. <laughs> um, here we go. Who's ready to get scared all over again? <laughs> Because I know I am. Mm. I'm not ready. I'm so scared. Oh, yeah. Where's my journal? I have my journal, too. And my journal is extremely important. So, according to my... I'm going to use my scribing mirror and just kind of see... I'm going to use the scribing mirror. Oh yeah, the wedding ring. Was Rose on this floor? I think she was, but and then I got but then I like screwed up talking to her. Is anyone there? <laughs> no. Hello. Yes, we got her. We got her. Alright. Is it Rose? Okay, um... I want to grab the wedding ring and ask about the wedding ring, but where to go? Here we go. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? Hmm. So she says she doesn't know, which I think is weird, because then it's like... When you said Jimmy wants what do you to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the wedding ring? Hmm. Um... Um... 
I'm not sure what to do here. You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Is that connected to the wedding ring? I think I'm running out of cha choices. I'm not sure what to do. It has something to do with the wedding ring. He tried to kill himself. That's why I had to tell him the truth. The truth about what, though? I I don't know what else to do here. He tried... And that's why I had to tell him the truth. Um... Hmm. Let's see. So, I never knew there's only one I could give him. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Um... Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if, like, this makes sense at all. I don't think it does. Oh, you can only pair sightings and objects. Okay, so let's see. Um... I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? Dr. Bose. He came to help Jimmy. I think I should ask about a few more things just before I completely... Hmm. I saw Harvey being stabbed backstage. What happened? Yeah, exactly. I saw Harvey heading towards the ballroom with a gun. What was he doing? I don't know anything about that. I saw Harvey with a gun, practicing with it. What was he going to do? I saw a fire in the basement. What happened to the hotel? Harvey blamed Jimmy, but it was a loose wire that started that fire. It was an accident. Wait, could that have been the truth then? I saw Harvey locking Jimmy in the basement. What happened? I don't know what he was doing. Hmm. I saw Harvey being shot in the leg with an arrow. What happened? Harvey said Jimmy had shot him with an arrow. But I knew Jimmy wouldn't use a weapon like that. I saw Harvey with a bat coming out of a room. What had he done? He ruined Jimmy's things. He couldn't control his anger. Hmm, yeah, I'm a little bit lost here. I'm trying to decide, like, what. I saw Harvey shouting, telling Jimmy to admit he lied. Did he? No. How could Jimmy admit to something that wasn't true? Harvey was wrong to bully Jimmy like that. It's possible. I saw someone on stage, a performer. Announcing himself as the great Hugo. He was a magician and an entertainer. He bought the hotel to promote his stage show. He became famous. He was on television. 
addition, I worked as his assistant, then things developed. Wait, what? Hugo was a magician and entertainer. He bought the hotel to promote his stage show. He became famous. I worked as his So wait, Hugo is a separate person? Maybe that's the wedding ring. Hugo was a magician and entertainer. Because Hugo is also Jimmy's like yeah Hugo punch so what's the difference when he said things developed with Hugo is that connected to the wedding ring it has to be yes I knew it we were married. but I'm confused now Hugo and I were married. We were happy at first, but then things started to change. But Rose is Jimmy's mother. So, am I thinking this wrong? Wait, I'm confused now. Hey, Candy Girl, welcome in. Rose is Jimmy's mom, I thought. I'm a little confused. Also, it gave me a new, like, connection thing, but things changed with Hugo. Um. Hmm. I'm still trying to decide like what information I think is is appropriate. Um Telling him the truth about Hugo maybe? Maybe I needed to know that information before presenting the wedding ring. Wait. Is Jimmy in the bath? And then where's the wedding ring? Yeah, this one. No, Rose isn't married to Harvey. You have paired these. It was Jimmy in the bath. He tried to kill himself. The ring was mine. Okay. The game is telling me that I already paired it. Hmm. Jimmy wasn't the one doing these things, like the mirrors. He was starting to fracture. Jimmy wasn't in control anymore. Um... What you said about Jimmy not being in control anymore, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? Wait, she didn't give me a response. Okay, that's weird. Now I'm confused. Now I'm just confused. <laughs> um When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? She's not saying anything anymore. Something's weird.
Like, she's being extra quiet. Okay, so the game wants me to go to 305. And I went to the bathroom on accident. Alright, let's go. Jimmy is, like, right in the hallway. I'm just waiting for him to come to this room and, like, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom or something. Jimmy, just come in here and so I can just leave. <laughs> okay. He sees me. Did he go away? Is Jimmy going to come this way? I can hear him. I can hear him. I, I can't tell if he's going towards me or if he's going towards... I'm scared. <laughs> Where is he going? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Demon's like, it'll be fine. Well, come on in. So we have to make our way to 305, because the scrying mirror, to the scrying mirror told us to go to 305. So we're gonna go there and see what's next. I'm, I'm scared. Okay, so 305 is this way. Is anyone there? This is scary. A toy for a baby. Oh, I needed more evidence. Oh my gosh, this is so terrifying. Is he just gonna, is he gonna come to this door and like, start knocking on it? <laughs> he just breaks the door down. Oh, this is so scary, come on. I'm using the scribing mirror. Yeah, I knew it to be on floor two. I just didn't remember which room I had to be in. I was I in two twenty before? I think I was in two twenty before, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. 
all right, Jimmy, are you going to come in here to kill me or not? Am I, or am I going to have to, like, go outside? Should I go outside? All right, we're going to go outside. Okay, so I, uh, I, I just, I just do it. I just go. I was like, you should go outside, touch some, touch some grass. All right. If I'm not mistaken, I thought it was 220 that you're supposed to go. Is it this way? Oh no, it was this way. I remember now. Because Hugo was in here. Is someone there? I can hear you. Is it Rose? Yes. I'm Rose. Alright, so the truth is probably this baby toy. Who did the baby's rattle belong to? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? Wait, what? Okay, that's confusing. The rattle was for the baby, kept it in bedside drawer. Rose finding Jimmy in the bathroom, people, Rose banging on the door. Um... I'm running out of evidence to use in this game. There's no other... There isn't a baby mention, no. Maybe this one? I, I don't know. That wouldn't make sense, though, would it? You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? baby doesn't solve anything so then but then what does that mean then for us it wasn't he started using um how's it going to verse welcome can we get a shout out for a verse 14 i thought having a child would be a solve everything it was i was wrong but that didn't um Hmm. I'm confused. Um. Hmm. I thought having a child solving, but it was wrong. But, okay, okay, but, like, how much more evidence do we have to find? This is really confusing. I'm using the scrying mirror. Oh my gosh. But first, thank you so much for the two months. That's really, really nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Two months, woo. That is really kind of you. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. And everything in between. Oh shit. Is 
he gonna come in here? Oh my god, he's coming in here. Oh no, 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 no. He's coming in here. Gosh, this is so terrifying. Oh no, I heard him. I hear Jimmy. Yeah, he almost got us. He almost got us. I don't know. I, I have, a, we have so, there are some people in the chat that have theories. But we don't know what the true theory could be yet. Fear of toilets. Could be. The whole area, like, yeah, it does that. Is someone there? Yeah, like, it, it keeps doing that. I wonder... Oh, he's afraid of the mirrors, maybe? That could be. That could be a thing. Usually when that happens, that's because there's some kind of, like... There must be something going on, and I have to... Yeah, you see, it keeps doing that. I wonder why. Is someone there? There's definitely something here, and I don't know what it is. Yeah, you see, the light keeps flickering. Um, could it be like an elevator scenario where I have to like go in the elevator and then it'll... Oh shit! Basement store. Okay. Let's go to the basement. <laughs> this is really creep. This is really creepy.
All right, we unlocked the door to the basement storeroom. You found Jimmy Hall's birth certificate. <sighs> Name and surname Hugo Reginald Hall. Wait, date and place of birth. Name and surname James Alexander Hall. Name and surname Hugo Reginald Hall. Candy Girl says father is Hugo. Is that what it's saying? So wait a minute. Is this the name of the, is this the name of the baby? And then this is the name of the father. Oh, father. Duh. They they center aligned it, and I didn't even see that. Okay. Child, James Alexander Hall. Father, Hugo Reginald Hall. Mother, Rosemary Dolores. And then... Um, so Hugo and... Hugo and Rosemary had Jimmy... And Jimmy, Jimmy started a comedy show called Hugo Punch, but it's named after his father. Okay, that's pretty wild. So that explains a lot. It certainly explains a lot. We are really close to finishing the game. Okay. Show found item show setting show keys. Okay. We're getting really close to finishing the game. I'm gonna use my scrithing mirror again to see if there's anything I missed. Okay, that's the birth certificate. Okay, so the game is making me go back to the second floor. Alright, let's do this. You remember? Do you all remember on the first stream where the girl was in the front of the elevator and it scared the shit out of us? Gosh, like, I still remember that scene where the little girl's just sitting there. <laughs> Quaffa, horrifying memories. Who's there? Is it Rose? Yes. Alright, let's present the evidence. I found Jimmy's birth certificate. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. Jimmy is Hugo's son in every way. I heard a man shouting and a child crying. What happened? Hugo was a violent, evil, sick man. 
That explains a lot. Okay. So let's see if we can do something like this. You said Jimmy's Hugo's son. Does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? What? How do you not know anything? Wait, what? Like, okay. Um... You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? Let me do the truth part of it. Let me try the truth. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? There we go. Ah, uh, he was traumatized. Oh. Oh my god. That's messed up. Okay, so I have to go to the basement. Hugo almost got me again. He almost got me again. Ugh, this is so scary. Oh my gosh. So that means Rose killed her husband because she was, um, she was, um, because she was really upset, um, about the, about her, about him. Beating her. Yeah, beating the kid. Yeah, that's crazy. Is it Rose? Is it Rose? Yes. You still don't have to go upstairs anymore. I saw you with a wooden bat attacking someone. Who was it? Oh no, did she, did she kill herself? <gasps> yeah, I know, right? That's messed up. This is messed up. I wonder if she...
I wonder if she, like, killed herself. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? Okay, so it wasn't a gun. Hmm. I'm trying to just figure out, like, how this is all connected. Um... When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? Hmm, let me... Can I use the scribing mirror? The game, I don't know if I can use my scribing mirror in here. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go to the first floor to use the scribing mirror. I wanna see if I'm missing some evidence. some evidence yeah no there was there was some drugs I could check to see if there was some kind of like drug or something that she could have used there was actually demon gaming there was let's check oh we're getting a raid thank you very much play adjacent for the raid no hold on a second <laughs> All right, hang tight, hang tight. Let me get this. Welcome on in, community. Welcome on in, uh, play at Jason and play at Jason's community. Uh, nice to meet all of you. Hang on one second. Come on in, Raiders. I'm Italian Gamer Joe, your favorite Italian streamer. Um, I actually I play adventure games here on Twitch. Um, I'm also an indie game developer, making my own game. So I'm just uh, my own adventure game, is what I should say. But uh, yeah, I just I'm a chill streamer. If you're looking for a community, you're looking for some chill people to hang out with, then you've come to the right place. Uh, some games that I've played on stream, uh, well, Dead of Night, an adventure game we're playing now. Um, I play a lot of the Nancy Drew games. Um, in the past, I played Sea of Thieves, RPGs like Final Fantasy, Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for if you if any of those games sounded interesting to you, then you have come to the right place. Um, it's really nice to meet you, play it, Jason. I have you have you come to my stream before? No, it's just first time chat. How did you find me? Were you just were you just were you just casually chilling, or did someone recommend you to me? But anyway, it's nice to meet you. Um, welcome on in, Ultimate Linkage, Cody Pobbs, uh, um, let's see, who else? Little Koopo 84 nice username. Uh, Deb says, hi, welcome in. Uh, you follow for a while, never got the chance to rate. Oh, cool. Well, thank you very much then. I'll have to return the, I'll go ahead and I'll return the follow um, if I have you follow. Let me double check real quick. Um, but yeah, once again, it is really nice to meet you. I, I just dropped you a follow. Um, 
so there you go. And um, yeah, it's nice to meet you and hang out with you. And uh, yeah, thank you again for taking the time to uh, bring your community on over here. Um, musician and variety streamer. That's amazing. Um, what what instruments do you play? Or do you have a primary instrument that you play? I see a piano in the background. Do you do you play piano? Um, I also play piano too, but you're probably you're probably a professional. I, I just do it like for fun. But primarily guitar and piano. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Well, I just dropped you a follow, and I will definitely be tuning in to your streams. Um, you sound like it seems, this seems really cool, and I'm really excited and happy to uh, share some love and support as well. And uh, Deb says, hi, welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Mwah, thank you. And uh, yeah, like I said, so um, this, is a, this is a pretty chill place. We have a really nice community of people here. We're all a bunch of goofball friends, and we all just like to play adventure games. So if you like adventure games, then you've come to the right place. Um, play it, Jason. I, since you're a musician, I just want to have you know that uh, I love video game OSTs. So if you have any like video game OST recommendations, or if you have any like good video game soundtracks, or just songs in general, like let me know because I'm always looking for like I'm always looking for like new video game music to listen to, like uh, when I'm programming at work or something. Or uh, yeah, I don't know if you have any good like song recommendations or good music, like please let me know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much again for raiding and bringing your community on over here. That is very kind of you. I will definitely be um, tuning in to your streams as well. Katamari Damacy. I'll check. And, and then Hotline Miami. I'll definitely check those out. Um, I'm writing them down now. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you so much again. And um, for those of you that are here in the community, like, yeah, feel free to hang out with us. We're playing this very spooky game called At Dead of Night. Um, it is a first-person point-and-click adventure game that is full motion video. And um, we are currently trying to solve a mystery of how um, certain... We're this, we're this camper. Like we, we, we're this girl named Maya, this woman named Maya. She, her friends abandon her, and she is left to fend for herself. Um, so she makes her way to this like four story hotel and she stays there for the night and she finds out that her friends were actually at the hotel. Um, in the middle of the night, she hears a scream and she leaves her room and sees that her friends are kidnapped and the hotel proprietor, the owner, um, is the one that kidnapped them. And he is bent on trying to kidnap Maya as well, but Maya is one step ahead of the game and she is very cunning and, um, she's moving around the hotel trying to... Um, trying to figure out like who this proprietor is, what are his secrets, and then she also is a clear. Well, it's not, it's not a clairvoyant. She's like a seer. She could like see like ghosts and stuff, and um, she can talk to the ghosts of the hotel that died there. So we're trying to solve a mystery, basically. But anyway. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for bringing your community over. If you have to do anything like post stream stuff, like I know I usually do. If you have to run to the bathroom, grab something to drink, feel free to do so. If you have to lurk, um, we'll be. And if you if you want to hang out, you're more than welcome to. Um, but yeah, play Justin says I love the company that made this. They have a few. Uh, yeah, I have. This is the first one I've played, but I've played. I think there's a few company. I don't know if they're all the same company. But um, I think I, this is the first of this specific company that I've played. But I know that Guava in the chat, Guava, the one of the moderators, he's watched one, another streamer that I've watched. Um, yes, Contradiction. Guava, didn't Dognet play Contradiction? I have to write that down. Um, but I will definitely, I will definitely check that out as well. Ultimate Linkage, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. I really, really appreciate that. Alrighty, so we're gonna jump right back in to At Dead of Night. Um, thank you all so much again for the raid. Thank you for bringing your community over here again. Thank you for the follows. Um, Deb says hi and ultimate linkage. It's so nice to, to meet you both and uh, looking forward to dropping into your stream sometime. So thank you again. Welcome to the Town Gamer Joe channel. <laughs> all right, let's jump back in. Absolutely. All right. The dance party was inspired. I was inspired for the dance party by two streamers. Um, Kingslayer on Facebook, um, he does a dance party every time he wins in Fortnite, and then there's another streamer on Twitch named Buff Boy Games, and he does like dance parties. So I borrow, I can't, I can't take credit. I have to give credit where it's to do. But I always like, I like, I like the dance party idea, and I'm not a good dancer in real life. So you can't. I am a horrible dancer <laughs> in real life. All right. 
outside of streaming. But anyway, um, let's jump right back in. So we're in this basement of the hotel, and um, we have to talk to Rose, who is the mother of the hotel proprietor. Is someone there? Hello. <laughs> Glove was like, you dance great. I should film a YouTube video of my personalized uh, choreography for my raid dance. It's literally just three dance moves. Well, okay, with a finishing move. I do the fist bump, like jer the Jersey Shore fist bump. And then I do the wave. And then I do the Italian hands. And then I do that twice. And then I end it with a kiss. That's my I should do a choreography for that. But, anyway, alright. So we're talking to Rose. And Rose... We're trying to figure out... So she said I couldn't live with myself after she, like, killed her husband or something. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, what evidence to pair with that. And I don't know what to pair with it. This is going to get dark really quick. Um... Um... Hmm... I'm trying to figure out, like, what she could have done. Maybe the turpentine and... Or, no, I'm thinking maybe the diazepam. Maybe that, along with this. When you said you couldn't live with yourself. Yeah, Demon Gaming. I think you're right. what you said about the diazepam? Did she take the diazepam? Ooh, she said... She said maybe. So that's that's concerning. Um, maybe the turpentine? Did she cause a fire? When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? I had no choice. There we go. Jimmy had gone to find Hugo's grave. I was alone. I knew what I should do. All right, so we're gonna have to go to the second floor. <laughs> I know, right? The ghost hunting TV shows should use this. They should totally, totally use this. <laughs> Talk about like it. It has Wi-Fi and it also has 5G. So that's why. That's why you know it's it's Wi-Fi and 5G. <laughs> Maya pays for a data plan. <laughs> Alright, I gotta... I gotta pay attention, because this is where Maya can get hurt. I heard, I heard him. I knew I heard him. I was so scared. Okay, I, I heard Jimmy, and it scared the crap out of me. So he walked to the right. I'm going to have to walk, which means he walked left, so I have to go right. Oh my gosh, you scared the shit out of me. Drew B, thank you for much, much for the follow. You scared the shit. Scared the shit out of me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. No. He, he is really, like, next to me. I'm just, I hear him. I literally hear him. Oh, I hear the fork creaking. This is terrifying. He has to be over here. I literally heard the floor creaking. Well, it's nice to meet you, Druby. Oh, you came in from the raid. Thank you for the follow again. I really appreciate it. Um, 
Drewby, are you an adventure game fan like me? I I love adventure games, and uh, this is terrifying. I swear, Jimmy's gonna. I'm, I'm gonna leave this, and then Jimmy's gonna like beat beat me. Like this is. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh. <laughs> I love the fries plus tax. <clears throat> it's just a storeroom. Oh. oh shit. What the fuck is this room? Unlock the door first. Um, will the rusty keys work? No. Uh. Thanks, Jason. Hope you or er, hope you have a great night. This is so terrifying. Um, I oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I'm so scared right now. Um, I'm going to use the mirror for a hint. We're phoning in a hint. Between 2.13 and 2.12. Okay, so something in between. Wait, but we're in 213. This is crazy. Oh, we we did it. We Rose is going to rest in peace now. We we solved her mystery. <gasps> this is crazy. Talking to the dead, Maya. I know Hugo's your father, Jimmy. I found your birth certificate and I know Rose tried to kill him. But she failed, didn't she? Then where is he now?
I'm so scared. What did he mean by that? This is terrifying. This is so scary. I'm... I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, so apparently... There's a compass. Still... There's apparently still someone or something... The compass is moving really, really slowly, so I'm going to take a wild guess that I'm not on the right floor. But that there is some kind of... Hmm. I'm going to go to the basement. I'm going to guess that there's something in the basement, probably. Oh no. <laughs> this is like the Nancy Drew finale. Oh my gosh. The game will save here for the last time. Holy shit. You now have to rescue your friends, but if Jimmy catches you, it's game over. <gasps> oh my god. But where are the friends? This is terrifying, okay?
I'm so scared right now. Like, I don't know what to do. This is terrifying. I'm so scared. Hotel exit key. Oh my gosh, it tells you which each of the keys are. I am so stupid. It tells you each of the keys. Oh. Okay. Key to 223, 111, 210, 209, and then hotel exit. I was so stupid. Why did the game give me the scrying mirror for this, though? Okay, I'm gonna write this down real quick. So, 303, 306, 209, 210, 111, 223. Wait, one of those keys is wrong. Um... Okay, let's just go to 111. Or maybe we'll do 200. Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do 210 first since since Jimmy is on floor Jimmy is on the first floor. So we'll do we'll go to we'll do we'll do 209 and 210 and 223. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh my god, there's one of the friends. <laughs> Holy shit! Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. It does give you the option. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can.
I don't hear him. I know, right? They could. Oh. We're going to try again. We're totally going to try again. All right. Return to your last save game. All right. We're going to 111. Okay, here's someone. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. This is so scary. All right, come on. Come on, Hugo. This is so terrifying. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm I'm used to it. Okay, I still have to do 209, 210. I have to do still have to do 209 and 210. Okay. Okay, now I have to do 210. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can.
Okay, that's the third one. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. It's two more, just two more. This is so scary. Okay, so 111. I'm gonna start at the top and then make my way down. It's gonna be easier for me. To understand the layout. Okay, as quickly as you can okay that's one of them this is terrifying Okay, now we have to do 209, 210. Oh wait, I don't have to do that. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. Okay, so now we have to do the two now we have to do all the floors on <sighs> The third floor I think is gonna be the hardest for me. This is this is this is tough. This is very tough. Okay, I need a I wonder if there's like a map online at Dead of Night map of floors. I'm looking online if there's like a like if I can find like a floor plan. Cuz this will help me so much. Okay. So I'm going to save this to my downloads and then I'll do the second floor and then I'll save this to my downloads this is going to be extremely useful I should have done this a long time ago okay so I'm saving the yeah you have to find it resets each time so 
that's what I'm gonna do. Um, Okay, I looked up something online that says you can send your friends out any moment. Jimmy will scare them and let them go. The best way to do this is to lure Jimmy into the room by shouting, then hiding in the wardrobe at the last moment and leaving the room very quickly to lock him in. However, if you rescue a friend while he's still locked, the game will free him. Ah, interesting. Well, that changes things. Well, at least we can try it. We could we could try it. I'll try it. We could try it. Um And then one thing I'm gonna do I, I'm oops. Uh one thing I am gonna do though is uh I'm gonna send the, the maps to the game to my moderators. To my mods so they can see what I'm what I'm dealing with. <laughs> um I know that Guava you're in the chat. Um, and then Kenny Girl, I don't know if you're still here, but I'm sending you both the maps so you can see for yourselves how these maps look. Um, just so you can, like, get an idea of what I'm dealing with. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm getting all high tech for this. I'm getting all high tech for this. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'm really trying for this. Okay. So... One moment. I'm I'm determined. I am determined. Guava says, "Why is B like this?" <laughs> All right. Dead of night. Floor. We'll start with floor one and then work our way up to floor three. Uh, we'll just do that and then I don't know. I don't know. We'll just we'll 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 work backwards. I mean forwards. We'll work forwards. So I gave Guava. I gave you a map copy. Candy Girl, I gave you a map copy as well. Alright. So, for the first floor, my strategy is to leave the elevator. If I could find the elevator. This is not a good website. Okay, yeah. This website's great. Okay. So, according to my map, if I leave... So, I have to... The only floor I have to go to is floor 111. Which, to get to 111... Um, I have to, where is 111? I can't even find it on the map. 111, 110, one... okay. Okay, I see it now. So 111 is, is like a really far away. It's like really far away. Okay, so I have to go left and then go, so I have to go left and then straight and then right, and then right, and then left. Okay, I know exactly where 111 is. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get to, but I know where it is. <sighs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a pain. I know exactly where to go. It's the circus... Okay, this is 111. I'm gonna try to lure him in here and then and then lock him in here. I'm gonna try that. Cause I've never tried that before and I'm curious to see how that happens. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. I'm gonna try luring him.
I'm trying to lock him. I'm trying to lock. I'm gonna wanna want. To, I want to lock him in the room. I'm here. so nervous I'm trying to lure him in here this is is he coming She's, he's getting closer. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. Down here. He's taking his time to get to me. <laughs> okay. This way. Oh. Oh. Terrifying. Okay, so now we're doing floor two. We're temporarily safe. Hi, Prince. We're temporarily safe. Okay. Okay. I'm looking up floor two. So, floor two. So, we have, for floor two, we have to do 209, 210. So, 209 is... Um, so, there's the elevator. 209 and 210 are... Okay. I see where it is now. Okay. So it's kind of the same layout as the previous floor. And it, okay, they're in the they're on the same layout of the previous floor. It's the same. Wait, what? Oh, I did the wrong floor. Oops, the wrong room. Okay, let's go. 
Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. Ooh, that's awesome. I can't that sounds great. Thank you for reminding us. Ooh, he sounds close. Hugo sounds really close to us. Jimmy? I'm here. Down here. This way. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so scary. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. Okay. That'll free him. Jimmy? I'm here. Down here.
So we did 111, we did 210, we did 209. So we just do 303 and 306. Okay. We have to do 303 and 306. Candy girl, I, I ran out of water. I'll do your redemption shortly. Okay. Okay, so 303 and 306. Um, okay, so 303 and 306 are actually right next to each other. And it's the same layout. I have to go left. Right. Right. Left. Right, left, and then I have to go left, and then left, and then right, left, 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 right, left. Okay. So, left, left, right, left. Yeah, this would make sense, actually. Let's... Guava, I'll do it shortly. I'm, I can't do this. I can't, I can't. I can't. I have to. I have to do this. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. Okay. And there is a cupboard in here. Okay. This way. Jimmy? game told me that if I locked him in, I'd be safe. <laughs> okay, one second. Okay, I'm watching a video real quick on how this person's doing it. Wait for Jimmy to leave. When you go to leave, be sure to keep clicking on the door to exit ASAP. Lock the room with the key facing the door, door locked. Okay. So we've been doing it right, but something happened and it just didn't, it didn't re register properly. I. This is a lot harder than Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Okay, if I can't get this by two hours, I'll I'll postpone this until tomorrow night. 
Okay, so 111, 209, 210, 303, 306. Wait, 111, 209, 210, 306. Alright, this is really terrifying and really frustrating. Oh, can we get a shout out for Figgy, please? Hi, Figgy. I'm so sorry. How are you? I, I, I'm distracted. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this again. Alright, so 111 is at the, all the way at the end of the first hall. Alright. <sighs> No, okay. All right, one eleven. Thanks, Kitty. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one eleven. We're good. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. All right, two oh nine two ten is okay. The same thing. Okay. I'm just gonna have to lock his ass in every room. I, I'm literally just gonna have to lock him in literally every room. as quickly as you can. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try to lock him in here again. Door locked. Okay. This is so scary. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Ding it up. Okay, let's go. Get to the stairs as okay. quickly as you can. We can do this. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. All right, so we're at two, there's two more left. I locked him in. Well, I was I that's not necessary with I uh, I don't know. Securely. You have to call for Jimmy and wait. When you hear him opening the door, hide in the closet. When you hear the door close, Jimmy's either in the bathroom or he left the room and might ambush you in the corridor. So you have to listen for a tiny bit, but don't waste too much time. If you hear the footsteps or him calling out, it means he's outside and you have to exit the closet and repeat step one. Even if the menu button... If you haven't heard anything... If you hear the footsteps or him calling out, it means he's outside and you have to exit the closet and repeat step one. If you haven't heard anything, then you need to exit the closet and go straight for the door as fast as possible because Jimmy can exit bathroom and bonk you at any point. <laughs> when you've left the room, you need to lock him as fast as possible. 
His name is Jimmy Hall. Oh my god, that's so funny. If you... If you wait just a little bit before going into the closet, show Jimmy your butt after he opens the door and then go inside the closet. And then he'll definitely hide in the bathroom. Check that on stream or to every time, but beware and read issue number one. If you go if you wait for a little bit before going in the closet, show Jimmy your butt after he opens the door and then go inside the closet and he'll definitely hide in the bathroom. Um, we can try. We we can try showing Jimmy our butt. I mean, we could try it. Apparently, Jimmy just really wants butt. <laughs> Our butt. Hey. I'm here. Down here. This way. Okay, well, he did not want our butt. All right, we're gonna do this again. I'm here.
209, 210 is next. Okay. We can do this. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. to the elevator as quickly as you can. Jimmy? All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna postpone this until part five for tomorrow night. I feel like I'm getting better at the game. I think I just need time to, um, to, pr to not to practice, but to, um, I think I need to sleep on it. <laughs> I need to sleep on it. So um, we're gonna continue this tomorrow night uh, for part five uh, in celebration of Thanksgiving week. Uh, so tune in tomorrow night for part five of At Dead of Night, and we will hopefully beat the game. Um, this is getting really intense. Um, it's really, really intense. <laughs> but I, as, as sc scary as this game is, I'm actually really enjoying it so far. So I'm, it's stressing me out, but it's, it's doable. Like we got it down. We got, we had one person left. We had one person left, so I'm not too scared. I'm not too. I'm not too worried. I, I'm just. It's just a strategy. It's 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 strategy is what it is. So if if we can do that and then we can get to the exit, I think we'll be good. It's just it's gonna take time. Exactly, Figgy. Exactly. It's gonna take. Just step away, sleep on it, come back, and if we get it, great. If we don't, then we'll keep trying. Um, if I don't. With figure this game I'll be playing exclusively until I beat it so you're gonna keep seeing this game until I beat it 
If it gets to part seven, part eight, part, I will beat this game. I am determined. Um, <laughs> game girls like thanks, Joe. I hope you have sweet dreams that don't include doors, elevators, or creeps hunting you down. You and me both. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, really cool game. I am determined to beat it. And uh, I really appreciate the support from all of you watching me play this game. It's it's really fun watching you uh, having the chance to play with everyone and just kind of like it's it's fun. It's 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 a good time. So I just want to say I appreciate all of you for um, for being here with me, watching me play this because this is a terrifying game, and I really do appreciate the uh, the um, the opportunity to play with all of you to just kind of like play and have fun so thank you everybody for um for just being here and for uh just taking the time out of your night to uh hang out with me or day um so the person i'm gonna raid tonight i'm probably gonna raid bronze hex because he's streaming god of war i believe or is he actually is he ending stream hold on No, he's not. He's still streaming. Okay. Um, so Bronze is still... Um, oh, is my is my chat... He's playing Zomboid. Okay. Sorry, my chat sometimes doesn't... Doesn't... Doesn't update. Okay, my stream chat is, is, is available again. But anyway, yeah, so I'm sorry about that. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and raid Bronze, because he is streaming. And uh, I, haven't ra I haven't raided him in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and show some love to him. But... Um, I hope you all have a great night, and uh, tune in tomorrow night as I try to beat this game again. Uh, thank you again for everybody that coming in tonight, though. Figgy, Guafa, Candy Girl, Prince. Um, thank you for the follows. Drew B, Ultimate Linkage, Deb says hi, play it Jason. Averse, thank you for the subscription again. Uh, Demon Gaming, thank you for coming in. Um, yeah, thank you everyone that came in tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so thanks again, and uh, let's go ahead and show some love to Bronzex. He's a really nice guy, a really awesome streamer, cool friend, and uh, yeah, let's go hang out with him. So, good night, everybody. See you next time. Tengi Joe is signing out.